and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a Christmas glow theme makeup look tutorial. So we already have this side of my face done so we are going to copy cut that and do it on this side. I already have my eyes done or my eyebrows done and my eyes primed. So we are going to go in using our ColourPop Powerpuff Girl palette and then our Glam Light um, paint palette. So first we are going to take our Glam Light palette, our paint palette, and we're going to use this beautiful turquoise color. And this is going to be our main color for this look. So this will go on the crease of our eye and then around the, to the outside. Okay, so now that we have the blue, which I got some of it on my face, but now that we have the blue, we're going to create our cut crease. So we're going to go in with our CoverGirl concealer and our flat brush, and we're going to create our crease. Okay, so now that we have our cut crease done, we're going to take our Powerpuff Girl palette and we are going to use this color called Super Friends, which is like a glittery blue, and we're going to put that in our crease that we just created. Okay, so now that we have our crease done, we're going to go in with my Calligrapher um, eyeliner from Glam Light. Okay, so now that we got our wing created, we're going to go in with our Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Okay, and then next we are going to take our eyelashes and we're our lash and our IMB um, eyelash adhesive, and I already put some on here, so we are going to let it dry and get tacky. All right. And then next 
because most of our artwork is going to be on this side. So we can put some foundation up from like here up. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to use, and I'm using um, the Maybelline Fit 1112 foundation. All right, so now that we have our foundation where we want it, we are going to go in with our CoverGirl concealer again, and we are going to conceal underneath our eyes. Okay, and then we're going to take our Glam White Calli Calligrapher Eyeliner again, and we're going to fix our eyeliner. Which I should have done this before concealing under my eyes. I just kind of forgot. <laughs> Alright, so now that we have that done, we're going to take our... A blender. I forgot what it was called for a second. And we're going to blend back underneath our eyes to get rid of the fingerprint that I created. Okay, so next we are going to go in with our paint. I had to um, mix a few of the colors when I created this look. Um, and then someone asked me to do, to, to do a tutorial on this look, so I agreed to. So... We're going to have to mix some paint. So I'm using my Athena paint palette. And you will need a couple brushes. So like a thin brush, a, a liner brush. And then like a thicker brush. Grab. grab some comp pads to kind of like wipe our brush off as we go because we're going to be using multiple colors and you're going to need this brush for multiple colors. So first of all, we're going to start off with doing the house. So we're going to outline that. So we're going to take this brown right here and we're going to draw the first line of the house. I should have started with the roof first. So we're gonna go in and actually draw the roof first. So we're going to draw a straight line across. And we're gonna do the roof white because this will look like it's snow. So this will be the roof of our house. All right, so we're gonna start with the roof of our house.
I'm gonna get rid of this brown line because I totally don't have it in the right spot. Okay. All right, so now that we have pretty much the outline of our roof for our house, we are going to use our thicker brush and we are going to fill this in with white. And then next we are going to take, you might want to keep Q-tips on hand. We are going to clean out a small square on the roof to create our chimney. And then you're going to take your other little eyeliner pen or brush and you're going to draw a, like a rectangle shape. And you want to take some of that brown and you just want to use a little bit because you're going to blend it in using this small brush. Because you kind of want the, the inside of the chimney to be a lot lighter than the outside so that way it looks better. Okay, so now that we have our chimney... We are going to take our brush and we are going to blend this paint around the chimney. Okay, so now we have the roof of our house, which we'll probably have to let this dry and then go in with another coat. That way it looks more white. Okay, right, and then next you're going to take this eyeliner brush again and you're going to create the base of the house. I'm not too worried about drawing the, um, the line down here for the house because that bottom part is going to be all white. So all this is going to be white because it's going to look like snow.
Okay, so now that we have pretty much the outline of our house, I just gotta fix this brown. Okay, so this is gonna be the outline of our house. I know it looks really weird right now, but once we add the detail to it, it would look a lot better. So we're gonna take some of this like dark purplish brown and we're gonna create our door with this. And like I said, I'm not too worried about creating the bottom part and making those lines easy or even because this is all going to be snow because the snow is going to go up on the house. So then we are going to take our brush and we're going to dab a little bit of the brown and the white together because we want the, the color of the house to look a little bit lighter so that way you can see the lines. So we are going to paint this a lighter brown. fix our door a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to use like a little small bit of black to create kind of like a doorknob. So we're just going to create like a circle. And then next we are going to take a clean Q-tip and we are going to clear out a little bit of this where we're going to put our windows. Then we're going to take that dark brown purple again and we're going to outline two squares on our face. This will create the windows. Okay, and then for the lighting, we are going to take some of the yellow and we're going to paint inside these.
And then for the, the lines on the windows, I just took some more of that purple color just to give it the lines on the window. Okay, so now that we pretty much have our house completed, we are going to take some of the white and we are going to create a line. Kind of messed up on this part of the house, so we're going to okay. The good thing about it is that if you mess up on this, it's so easy to fix with this paint. Okay, so I'm going to finish the snow and I will be right back. Okay, so now that I have pretty much the snow completely done, we're going to go in with this blue color and we're going to mix a bit of this like darker purple color also. So we're going to use like a combination between both to make the sky. So because we don't want too light of a, like a sky, but we don't want too dark of a sky. So I'm going to go in with this lighter blue. Okay, and I'm going to finish up with this color and I will be right back. Okay, so now that we've finished this color, we are going to go in with this darker purple color. And we are just going to blend this in.
Okay, and I'm going to finish this up and I will be right back. Okay, so now that we pretty much have the snow in the sky, we are going to then add our characters to this. So I'm going to do a snowman, a reindeer, and a Christmas tree. So I wanted the, um, like the Christmas tree and the snowman and the reindeer to kind of like pop out. So I bought these little, uh, little foam creatures. So we're going to paint them. So, because I don't really want the snowman to be blue. So, we're going to paint the snowman white. So, we're just going to take some of our paint and we're just going to paint him white. Just like this. And then, instead of a blue hat, we are going to paint the snowman's hat black. I wanted like the the little creatures to like be like 3D so I was like I seen these and I'm like that would be pretty cool just to like have the 3D like looking like foam creatures on this okay and then next we are going to take a smaller brush and we are going to give this little guy a scarf Here, so see, there's our snowman so far. And then we're going to take our liner brush and we are going to draw some eyes and little buttons for this guy. So I'm going to put this guy down on my vanity. Be a little bit easier. Okay, and then we're going to take some orange and we're going to give this guy a little nose. And then when you are finished, your snowman should look like this. Even though we got to fix a little bit of the white because I kind of got blue on it. <laughs> Which we can do that. All right, and then this little guy is gonna go right over here. And I put glue on the back of this before putting it on here, so that way he kind of sticks a little bit more. And then if you have to, after putting him on your face, because I know you'll have like little fingerprints and stuff, you can take and brush him. All right, so then we're going to take some brown because then we got to give these this little guy some arms. So we're going to take the brown and we're going to draw some arms. All right, and then the reindeer is already brown and glittery, so I was like, we're just going to leave him be. We're just going to stick him on here because I already put glue on him. Alright, so now we have our reindeer on here. So I am gluing these on here. So, so like for a temporary thing, we are using... Okay, so to glue these, I am using my eyelash kiss glue because this will come off like super easy because I don't want them to stay on like so hard. But I mean, if you know of any other glue you can use to glue these little guys on here then that's fine okay so anyway then our tree we don't really want the star on there so we're gonna cut that off and the tree is already glittery so we're just gonna put this on our face which I already glued on this one too. Okay, and to make it look like it came, it's 
an outside tree if it sticks. We're going to add a little bit of white to it. So we're going to put some white on the tree trunk. Okay, and then we have our tree. So then next we're gonna do a snowflake. So we're gonna draw a couple snowflakes on our face. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so next we're gonna draw, take some white paint and our small liner brush and we're just gonna draw some white on our face. Cause we want to make it look like it's actually snowing out. Sorry guys, it's kind of hard for me to talk with this tree right here. I don't want it to kind of like fall off. So. All right, and then we're gonna take our liner brush and we're actually gonna draw some snowflakes. Try this again. I was trying to do a snowflake on my nose, but my brush don't want to work now. Okay. Okay, so we're not going to do that. Alright, instead we're just going to draw some little snowballs. Okay. I might have to put my glue on a snowflake. Or this Christmas tree. It don't want to stay.
All right, and there you guys have it. My snow globe is officially done. If you guys like this look, then give me a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I truly appreciate all of you guys watching, and I hope you guys really enjoyed watching me create this snow globe effect makeup look. So I also added a, um, I took my hair down also and put on my Santa hat too. So... Maybe. Okay, I found it. <laughs> and then put on our Santa hat to kind of give it more of an effect of a Christmas effect. So, alright. Tell me what you guys think about this look. Comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. Alright, thank you guys. Bye.